All right, we are back. This is still Crossfire with Dakbo and Ishioma, and we've been looking at um, a couple of issues that um, a lot of people really want um, questions, um, I mean, want answers to. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, Ishioma, I still feel that political parties should come up with a, a master plan and in the master plan mm -hmm. or like a brochure a party brochure where you can see how to join how not to join who can be uh who can be a member who who, who cannot be a member what can disqualify someone from of being course, a member every political you know party, and all of they that all, yeah. but every political party they all have their criteria and if they decide of course even on the when you list who cannot be a member of course they have their criteria but here you have people it, this it happens all over the world. People have to rush in. And after they rush in, then the political party will have to sit down and decide to prune. OK, well, this person, no. This person, no. If you cannot conform to the ideologies and the principles of this political party, then yeah. that's the exit door. Uh, but nobody seems to be given any form. All these people who defected well, recently, def they have not, given, they have not <laughs> been given any form to feel, to show oh, that they are God. members. No, they, they have they not been that. given Come any, any, that, any form to, to sign that they, they will abide by all the rules, the regulations, the laws well, of the party. You and, and I are, are not a member, so we cannot 100% tell if Are you not they a member that. of a political party? I am not a member of a political party. Are you a member of a political you party? You are an active we member are. of a political party, Ishama. I didn't, uh, I didn't even know Even the world knows. I, I mean, why, you know you why are you I, denying I didn't know on, you signed on me the national television? <laughs> I didn't know you signed me up. <laughs> You know, this 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 is not um, this is not a particular uh, platform for you to come and deny that you have allegiance to <laughs> a political party. And uh, you have, saw a call I and have, I called me and he said, "This I have PDP man." Allegiance. Uh, <laughs> I have allegiance. I have allegiance to the truth. Uh, okay. And that is my political party. All right. Party. Let, let, let's talk. Let's talk about you know, like um, yesterday, the yeah. Inspector General of Police uh, came up and said that stay off pulling centers. Every um, you know police escort mm -hmm. for any candidate or any personality at all that you must stay out of polling centers. We don't want to see you there. Any harmed <laughs> or uniformed <laughs> officer. I know a it's, police good. Officer. it's good. It's yeah. good because of course being escorts to a particular individual, your interest because you, of course you need to make the extra money you've been making also. So you definitely want to protect. That individual's interest. And so I, there's every possibility they are exactly, compromised. Exactly. But the issue is, how would you know? The Inspector General of Police would be at Abuja. The mm -hmm. other policemen are around. How would they know that this person is an escort to this particular individual? On that day, you put on your uniform and they would yeah. shake hands and would do the job together. How would you know? Mm. That's it. So it's one thing to come out and say, stay out, but on the day of the election, would you be there to monitor? No. That's now, how I see it. Now, now, I mean, this should take us into, you know, the topic we really want to dwell on today. And um, let's, let's take a very close look at it. We said we will um, educate people on the show again today to let them know exactly what is expected of them as they go out on Saturday. Don't forget, we, we, we have used this platform to educate over time to let an electorate know that Excuse me, when you get out on that day, accreditation will still be done as usual. Eight o'clock is the time for accreditation. We all go out there, you do your accreditation once you are done, and mm -hmm. this will be done by the use of the card reader. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs to understand, you need to be patient. If your card reader in any way you're going to vote is acting up, kindly be patient, there is a plan to make it work. People have been trained. INEC has come up to say that the card reader will work better, will perform better than it did at, I mean, during the presidential election. So everybody should prepare to use the card reader. Let yeah. the card reader do your bio, you know, biometrics and let the card reader verify that you are the owner of the card. Once you are done with your accreditation, we still want to use this platform to avoid any um, you know, pre-violence you know, um, activities. Kindly go back home and come out at 1 p.m. to come I mean, to come and do your, 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 public, uh, to, to your voting proper. <laughs> so we want people to mm -hmm. still be very mindful of their environment, of your locality. If you know it's going to be violent, do whatever you need to do to make sure you do not you know, uh, get involved in any way. This election is not worth losing your life for. And so and another thing also, yeah. like some of the things I observed during the presidential elections, we, found, we saw, and I, thank you Nigerians, because I remember we were also clamoring and begging, appealing to Nigerians to turn up early you know, on the day of the election. 
And a lot of the Nigerians did. But those who actually delayed the whole process was actually the INEC officials. So we also hope that they, this time around, they will be the ones to get there early. And you know, since they were, of course, now they already know that, oh, before you start up, you have to remove the cellophane you know, that the, covers yeah, the thumb print. Because <laughs> we saw how many of them were confused. Like, why is it not ready? Yeah, and, exactly. But then, of course, they have used it. So we expect that, of course, it will be better used to read Backup also. batteries for the card reader. And the issue of campaigning on the day of the election, right there when people are queuing up, it has to stop. It uh, really has to stop. Let, let, let's see how, how, how that plays out. Good morning, Rassam. Good morning. Hello, yeah, how are you today? Morning. Fine, good morning, man. Good morning. Yeah, yeah concerning the issue of the, uh, my, own, my own contribution this morning was concerning the issue of the defection. Yes. Okay. Because the issue of cross carpeting from one political party to the yeah. other. Mm -hmm. This thing has been it has been to existence which like, since two thousand and three, uh, whereby the opposition party comes to power. Mm -hmm. The candidates is the structure of that party has to be reduced to the extent that they need more support. Mm -hmm. Because a majority of other political parties have to defer to gain that stance, to gain that recognition, whereby okay. maybe tomorrow there is only Intensity of hope that okay, I will have somebody from my own defection party to assist your party to gain more recognition. So it's never, it's never a picture of some politics. Mm -hmm. we, we've seen it, and we, we believe more we even come even before 2019. The majority, most especially from the eastern side, the middle of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, Hello, Ransom. Hello, yeah, Ransom. But, do, do you think there is any positive uh, benefit for people really, you know, cross carpeting? The only benefit of the people cross carpeting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the benefit which I believe is all about the structure of the party, whereby if the party has to stand with some, let me, let me bring a, a, a similar example like this APC today. Yes. Tomorrow we're going to see the majority of the PDC, PDP party, and other opposition parties. The campaign to APC, whereby the interest is going to be the main benefit of it. So they're going to change the coat of the interest. Whereby if we favor us along the line. The reason why I use the Eastern Pass, for example, like when the general election was on March 28, they make the Senate, the, they're supposed to, the Eastern people are supposed to be the ones to present the Senate president. But now, since they are not there, and they believe APC is going to work stronger before 2019, they have to lose you for me. To cross carpet to look for that entry that will suit the, the southeast. So that is just the basic interest I will believe will oh. later come up because. Oh, oh, all right. Thank you, All right. Sir. Thank you so very Thank much for you. your contribution. You know, my concern, my concern is just that I believe very strongly that it is always for selfish reasons. Mm -hmm. Always, always for selfish reasons. The reason is one, I don't expect that a political party, like I said earlier, that have a very good, you know, um, you know, um, member base that has done their homework to attract people to join that party. And don't forget that most of the time, the Nigerian well, politics is just, the Nigerian politics in a way, to be, to be very sincere with you, is, is, is still not clearly defined. You find out that the motivation for people joining a political party is either one, for monetary benefit, or two, for positional benefits, which eventually will bring money anyway. Mm -hmm. Because once the person gets an elevated position in the party, and then maybe an appointment, a political appointment, or a chief ten, uh, you know, uh, you know, position, or whatever but that what do qualifies you. Think it to benefit more from defections? I think is it the party, it's for the party or the individuals joining, or the political party that is receiving these defectors? Who do you think starts to gain more? Both of them. Both of them are for selfish more. reasons. I mean, to gain the party, more. The party set up in itself, they need people to be able to win elections. Mm -hmm. So having more people to come to you really and truly, it's a benefit to an extent. The person who is leaving a party that he has been with in the last four years, and within four days of a major election, you are defecting. That person, something is obviously wrong. I mean, can't you see that the person obviously is living for some selfish benefit? Because reason is, 
is leaving a party that he has been building and participating in their activities for like four years before a major elections. And four days to the election, you are defecting to another party. It simply means your heart, your, your life, you are not committed. I mean, that's just the truth. That person is not committed in the first place. Because the reason why he's in the party he's leaving in the first place is for the benefit. And since it's, it becomes very clear that the benefits are not going to come, the person is defecting because he knows that there's every possibility of getting the benefit on the other side, especially now that we have, you know, um, a, a, another party taking over the affairs but of, of course, the nation. You know, there is no law stopping. And in fact, I don't think there can be any law stopping party defection. But the only thing I think that is moving forward should be the political party that is accepting these people in should be able to teach and inculcate in those defectors all right, Ishama, what your politics is all about. All right. Uh, hello. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, sir. Hi, Hello, good Pastor morning. Bright. Good morning, yes, sir. sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you too. Yeah. Um, I want I want to make a contribute to the thing we're on the talk. All right, go please ahead, go ahead, sir. sir. Uh, it's concerning the uh, election for Saturday. Yes. Okay, sir. Me, I, I mean, I know say the thing uh, that told the matter. <laughs> God don't give and to uh, Jimmy Abadie. In your opinion. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. I, because God don't put words for the upper mouth to raise up people that will vote for Abadji. <laughs> 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 no, it was not a mistake of the upper. Now God put them for him mouth, make it talk so wow. that people will vote for Abadji. Wow. Thank uh -huh. you so very much, Pastor Brian. I That's hope this is not being... Pro are you being prophetic here? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, had, you know, I had a strong I, I, question. Yes, I, I need to find out because if he's actually know, speaking even from word, if, he, if that was word from knowledge or word of knowledge. Because, in, in fact, before the presidential elections, there were so many prophecies flying up and down that the incumbent president was going to win and blah, 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 blah. So, a lot of them have been Buhari to shame now. Exactly. So, but come on. Whatever it is, I still maintain that whatever the Obama said was a slip of tongue. A I word agree. not properly arranged and it, put. It's not well fitted. So yeah. it does, I cannot begin oh, to. Oh, it's not fitly spoken. Exactly. So then why are we acknowledging some spiritual divination to read? But what if the APC wins at the day of the election? Come on. The Igbos are not the only ones in Lagos State. There are so many other people who still believe in the ideology of the APC and will still say, on oh, come that election, they will vote for the APC. So what are we saying? Yeah, I mean, well, even, we even this we defection, judge. even this defection, still. It, it's still, it, it, it's still, it, it is still exactly. going to be a concern for numbers. Of course. If, if I mean, uh, some of the political parties are bringing a hundred people, <laughs> fifty people, it's still you know, adding to the success of exactly. The it's still, but it's still, of course, we cannot tell yet until Monday, Sunday, Monday, when the, the results start trickling in. So. Do you do you see this as a game changer? <laughs> Will it affect anything come Saturday? I think the people's minds are made up already. Where? Which, which mind? People's which mind? <laughs> which people's you know mind? My are you a mind reader? Are you a mind reader? No, I obviously. Mind. You see, but the people's minds are made up already. I, I don't want to be. They already they, know. They, they already know what side. The, the no, Pastor Bright just called now that there is in a game changer. In his own opinion. It, so it means in this is just your opinion. opinion. This is my own opinion. This is your own but opinion. Yeah, it's time to do it. I mean, you know, and all of that. But, but really and truly is that I believe that come Saturday that the elections in Lagos is going to be well contested, you know, very well contested. Okay. And um, we are just, you know, believing that everything will work out to, to, to getting the right candidate for Lagosians. Uh, Iloputa, good morning. Good morning. Hello, Iloputa, are you there? Hello. Hello, good morning, good morning sir. sir. Good morning. Iloputa, good morning. sir. Iloputa, good morning. Good morning, sir. Yes, I, yes, we are communicating. Go morning. ahead and make your point, sir. Okay. Uh, actually, um, the topic you raised this morning is a very, uh, the topic you raised this morning is a very vital one. All right, thank you, sir. Um, I was in the same direction with you guys. Mm. You see, this uh, 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 issue of uh, matter of defecting easily defecting from one party to the other. It just shows that these, these uh, politicians, those guys that does that, they're only after their stomach infrastructure. Thank 
no? But they, they, don't, they are not principled politicians, mm. okay? Mm. Like what is happening in Nigeria now is supposed to, is supposed to advance our democracy. Mm. If we check the difference in votes now between that of APC and uh, PDP, it is about 2 million votes. Mm -hmm. You know, so it shows that none of the parties is a pushover. Yes. Yeah. So if PDP members can stand their ground, they will make a good opposition. You know, and what makes uh, democracy work all over the world is strong opposition. Yes. Yeah, you know? So these people now defecting from this party to the other just because this person has a input to won the election. It's just that they are not principled. Mm -hmm. They don't, they don't even know the content of their manifesto, the manifesto of their party. <laughs> yes. They don't believe in nothing, you know. They don't know what they believe in. But mm. it all depends on no? the true spirit of their so, manifesto. So if they push for this the way I'm reasoning, true. that deception diminishes many politicians' work before me. Mm -hmm. Once you do the defect, you are, your work is diminished. It shows me that you don't have anything to offer. Mm. All right. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you, Thank so, you so very much, much uh, Mr. You. Lupta Ife. You know, now, now, I mean, before we go on a short break, we will, I, I want us to look at this, um, Ishama. I'm thinking, I mean, this is just my thought. Can't a political party or can't INEC coordinate the activities of the political party and put an addendum or a corridendum, either of the two, to saying that at a particular time when we're approaching the elections, defections must, defections stop. must stop. And after elections. And after elections, you can do whatever you like. If the party, do you think the party will take defectors, knowing fully well there's no major elections? I, I don't know if you but get you, what I mean. Keeping quiet that. about this defected, you know, or, uh, I mean, people defecting from other party, and you're accepting them now when you're approaching the pool. It's a strategy. You will see that the party they are going to is taking advantage of, of the numbers that mm -hmm. are coming to join them for the sake of the elections. And the other people, just like Ilo Putaife said, that they, they, they are just, uh, I mean, it's just something that is, uh, you know, that is completely out of place. All right, we'll, Ransom. We'll share that thought later, right? Hello, Ransom. Hello. Hello. Oh, Ransom. Hello. You have an unfinished Hello. business, I guess. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Right. Concerning, concerning the issue of uh, Lagos, I just want to contribute my quota to okay. that of Lagos. Please go ahead. And most, most especially when it comes to the difference between the two major, should I call the two heavyweights? Yes. That is uh, between Jimmy Agbaje and Akimumi Ambode. Yes. Mm -hmm. To me, as a uh, good citizen of Nigeria, or let me say a good citizen, Actually, I've been in Lagos, but I've seen the development structure of the all progressive. Let me say from the AG down to ACN, the trade team move continue down to APC. Mm -hmm. I would love that Lagos and should just play some place, forgive the OBA number one, and two, try to look for the develop, developmental structure of what APC has for them. Wow. Not the issue of Ninda, Ninda, because okay, Jimmy Akbadi is not human, he's same. But the party difference that we were trying to look about here, yeah. that they have to like look seriously from the structure, which is the head, flow down to the every level of the other PDP state. It's only mm -hmm. few. Like my state, you cannot point any finger to any PDP project. Mm -hmm. Cookie. You cannot come out confident that, okay, this is the, this is the mm -hmm. any of this program that is okay. This is under PDP regime. This is what they have to give. Mm -hmm. But being illegal so far, for many occasions, at least I've seen the taste of what. Governor Fashola has done. At least that dream, the ideology of the, the ideology is just there in that political party. How to they structure their say in terms of development, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of every other thing they need to meet up with. Mm -hmm. Down to Oshun, the same thing. All these other state that they rule. Mm -hmm. So we should just they should just like try. Okay. By how cause forgive the other force <laughs> and they look at forge mm -hmm. ahead to continue exactly. with and body. All right, thank I you so very much, you. Ransom. I owe you a chocolate <laughs> when, whenever I see you. <laughs> you know, as a matter of fact, you know, we said very emphatically yesterday, addressing, you know, our evil brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. you know, that, I mean, they, they should just, they should just, uh, exactly. you know, just look and away focus, from what, you know, focus, of, from focus what on the other said, you know, and all of that. True. All right, we'll be going on a short break now, and then when we come back, we'll be taking you through the last lap of the show. <laughs>
All right, we are back. This is still Crossfire with Dakwa Anishama. And um, we are taking you through the last lap of the show. We've been looking at a very sensitive issue, and that is party defection of people cross carpeting parties especially very close to a major uh, pool come Saturday the 11th of April. This happened uh, a lot before the presidential election also and it's happening again. The major blow is the situation in Lagos where we have before now 15 political parties juggling for the seat of the governor of Lagos State. But as we speak, we have only five of them as 10 political parties have withdrawn and they put their weight behind the APC um, candidate, Mr. Akiomi Ambode. Now, let, let's quickly say this and wrap up on Lagos issue. Do you think this is a plus? for APC? I mean, I just keep playing into your hands when I ask you questions that probably... But then you that is APC. <laughs> uh, you know? Okay. Do you think it's a plus to whatever political party they have defected to? The truth is, in my own opinion, it is a plus to whatever political party that stands to gain the number. First of all, but I, I'm looking at it from two angles. I think the party, I'm, I'm I think the party they are angles. defecting to doesn't have standards. Well, seriously, don't you think they, they will do become? Not, of course, don't probably, you think they will they become problem if eventually the position they were going in for, mm -hmm. for instance, the, the major candidate, you know, of those ten political parties, have found themselves now putting their weight behind APC. Now, if APC government does not look for a way to compensate for their allegiance, let me put it that way. Uh, you know, I mean, putting their weight behind them. Don't you think they will constitute a major nuisance in APC now, going let, forward? I want to look at it from two angles. I can look at it from it being a plus to the political party. But I, because my allegiance is to truth and true democracy, I'm going to look at it more from the angle of it being a plus to, to true democracy. We, you know, true democracy in the sense that from now onwards, we expect that our democracy should begin to take a new, you know, a new face, a, a new look, in the sense that politics shouldn't be about whoever it is or whatever it is that political party that's in there, but about the true dividends. What are we going to give to the people, to the electorate? Now, Nigerians will begin to judge and measure from that, especially from 2019. People will begin to look and say, this party right, did this, this party this did that. Okay. Good morning, Chris. Hello, good morning. Hello, ah, Chris. I'm still online now. Yes. <laughs> yeah, good Chris. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, Chris. Yeah. Are you there? I am still here waiting. Oh. I'm okay. Sorry. No, you are. You are. On, you are live. Go you're ahead live. and make your contributions. <laughs> very much alive. Is your mom? How are you? <laughs> I'm very fine, sir. Good morning, sir. You are blessed. That boy. Yeah, I know. You. I enjoy your program. Thank you Thank very you, much. Sir. Yeah, this issue of uh, party de defection. Yes. I want to say that poverty is. A, a common denominator. <laughs> yeah. I was going to Poverty, go if you trace the reasons for defecting, mm -hmm. it is as a result of the unknown. Hmm. What will happen after now? Mm -hmm. So they, they find it very difficult to hold on to what they think is the correct ideology. Mm -hmm. Because they, 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 they can't see their future after now. Hmm. Hmm. So the, the politicians don't have ideology in Nigeria. It's just about what they, it's just about the benefit. Like what you said before, stomach infrastructure mm -hmm. is as a result of poverty. Mm -hmm. So I need a leader who will address this issue of poverty. That we put pay for, I mean, put pay to all this issue of defection. Mm -hmm. That's my thinking. Mm -hmm. Very, 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 very solid. Very, deep and very solid. Thank you very so very deep. much, Chris, for your contribution. But That's quite I deep. I expect, oh, well, because I've taken a good look at the APC manifesto, and I've taken a good look at the PDP manifesto. Now, these other individuals who are defecting from the PDP, the AD, now, the AA, not even, whatever it is, but, and they're they all in? coming in to join yeah. the APC. My issue now is let's, let's move forward on this. They have defected. You can't chase them back. But what should the, I expect now that the APC should begin to teach. I mean, this is like when you're teaching a child how to, to speak. The ABC should begin to teach these people what true democracy is, what true politics is. There's a way you can, you know, sink into their minds what true politics is. That even tomorrow, when nothing happens, nothing good favors them, they will still look and say, my interest should be the people. As a politician, I'm a servant, and I should serve the people. So they will begin to think of, rather than 
budging about what they stand to gain alone. They'll begin to fight for what they should do for the people. So even if tomorrow they decide to leave that political party, what they have done for the people will begin to speak in their favor in whatever political party they go to. That's what I think. And I expect that the APC will, I hope and I believe they'll do that, teach these people what true politics is all about. And it's not just for you the know, APC. Because I, I don't, you and I, I, I don't want to believe, to Ishama, that it's just enough to just accept them into the party without a proper... Let, let me even say, I mean, there's something we call, I mean, when you're joining a new, like, a, a proper, you know, give them a proper landing. They, or they do integration that. They into that. APC. They will do that. They will teach you know? them. Of course, they will give them the money. I hope that they is going to be done. These are, there's so many things they do here. Come I on. hope that is going it's to be done. It's just about welcoming them and throwing practice to celebrate. No, they teach them. All right. Them. Anyway, we have um, extensively spoken on <laughs> party defections the plus and the minuses. Mm -hmm. I mean, do people really do this for good reasons or is just for their selfish reasons? And uh, in the future, in the very near future, we're going to be looking at, I mean, very closely at the possibility of political parties or INEC, which is the governing or the coordinating body, will be able to put some things in place to ensure Stringent that we, we really do not have um, you know, this and politicians doesn't just do it and get away with it. True. We True. want to say a very big thank you to everyone who have been a part of our show today. We want to say thank you to thank our you. producer and um, every other, you know, person and personnel in the crew who have made it possible. Tomorrow thank is Friday. So uh, we thank God it's Friday. And then we'll be bringing you a very special package tomorrow. You don't want to be uh, out of place. Just join us say as no we do it again. And, as and always, say no to violence. Do not drink we pledge peace. <laughs> We pledge peace.